Hey there, so recently I've had some issues with my drawing tablet and I had to reinstall the software and just do redo the setup or the settings of it in Blender and in the actual app. So I just decided to showcase my settings, which probably are similar to most other Blender sculptors. So that's it, I guess. That's the future clips and at the end there's also the invincible or two invincible time lapses that I did this past week thank you so inside of blender you go to the edit and preferences tab at the input section this emulate 3 mouse button should be on so ticked like this and this you could change it to windows ink but i think automatic works fine so keep it at that now outside of blender in your wacom prop tablet properties you can just search this the start menu you can add blender here but you need to have it open or photoshop or anything you work on and when you click on blender you need to switch this I'm not sure what this is a default but make this middle click and the top one right click you can also play with the tip feel or pressure I'm not sure a bit but just leave it at default and then as you get used to it or as you want to try new things experiment with it I think these are also default and yeah, this is just shortcuts, I guess. But that's about it for the setup. So that's about it about the software settings. Now this is the second Invincible I did this week, I think, with a reference. And I wanted to pick some more simple model because I've been having issues with my tablet and it seems like the pen is faulty. I most likely might have to buy one if it gets too annoying. Like my pen just doesn't recognize some clicks. It's very annoying sometimes, but it works for now. I think adding the goggles to Mark makes the sculpt or the likeness of the sculpt go from like a 30 to an easy. Okay, 80 is too much, but it makes it go to a eh, likeness to okay, that's invincible. The hair is kind of weird, but that's when my pen started bugging. So it would just stay stuck sometimes. And some hair lines are weird and some, some parts are just weird. The second Invincible though was one I was just testing out and the pen seemed to actually work fine, but I didn't want to open PureDef just in case it goes bad again. And while it wasn't great, on top of these, I did my daily practice and stuff like that, but it was just super annoying sometimes. I kind of made the goggles even weirder in this one, but I think that's it about the Invincible sculpts. I just kind of wanted to rant. Also talk about things I want to do with the videos. And if you do have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, please comment down below. But yeah, I think I'm going to switch the quote unquote schedule a bit, maybe Wednesday or something like that. And I want to make longer videos and less edited. So where I just go through a sculpt and I talk over it while I'm sculpting it. And since I kind of have to sculpt slower now, I can focus more, I guess, and drop tips here and there. Uh, on top of that, I think I want to make a full character sometime in the near future and make a video on it I want to make like clothes hair and everything but i need to be a bit more locked in i also need to finish that one radio sculpt but i feel like my realism isn't up there yet so i probably has to wait but for the character i'm thinking something batman like just someone who does have anatomy but also a lot of accessories and plus not that much color even though batman does have quite some colors it's not that hard to mimic i guess and yeah i think that's 
about it for the land. I feel like I'm just still experimenting with stuff and we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching.